Hi, I'm Dr. Glenn Gray. I'm a neuroradiologist at Medical Arts Radiology. Uh, patients often ask, well, what exactly does a neuroradiologist do? And I respond by uh, saying the same thing that's happened in medicine in general with subspecialization has also happened in radiology, uh, especially in light of the uh, incredible growing fund of knowledge and all the technologies that seem to be changing every day. Uh, so apart from the regular uh, typical five years of training that a radiologist does after medical school, they can opt to do an extra year of training in multiple subspecialties such as neuroradiology, orthopedic radiology, interventional, pediatrics, or even women, women's imaging. Um, so a radiologist become an expert at reading, or a neuroradiologist is, is an expert in reading uh, MRIs of the brain uh, as, well as, as well as CAT scans, and they also learn other subspecialized MRI techniques such as spectroscopy and perfusion. They also specialize in reading uh, CTs and MRIs of the neck and spine. They're also trained to perform procedures such as angiography, which evaluates for aneurysms and AVMs, and also lumbar punctures, otherwise known as spinal taps, uh, to either administer medication or put in contrast for, say, a myelogram, or even take out fluid, say, in someone with hydrocephalus. Uh, therefore, you know, we feel that subspecialization allows us to take better care of our patients.